Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back for another Total War video. So Rome Remastered is here, but from a graphics and performance perspective, I think you'll agree it's a little bit meh. In this video, I'll be taking you through how to optimize your game settings and graphics card settings to make the most of it and how to use a program called Reshade to make your game look a bit more graphically enhanced. Let's get started. I found that while the latest patch does help performance and stability overall, the game still stutters quite a bit sometimes and can crash here and there. So in this first section, I want to cover a couple of really simple tips to get performance in the right place. First thing you can do is make sure you don't have any other programs running in the background that clutter up your CPU usage. Sometimes we're guilty of leaving open a Google Chrome tab, or unknowingly we might have things like Adobe Creative Cloud or Discord running in the background. Things like this all add up and will take away power that can be inputted to running Rome Remastered to the max. So go ahead and declutter all of that. Go into your task manager, pick out programs that you don't really need to have running right now. That will already go a long way to help you run the game better. Next, which is quick but effective, is to stay in Task Manager and go into your Details tab. In there, I want you to right-click on Roam Remastered and set the priority of the game to High. This should help run the game a bit better. Now, we want to optimize our GPU settings. I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I'm going to use the NVIDIA control panel here. What I want you to do is first of all, make sure your graphics card is updated. And then I want you to go into the control panel and go into the manage 3D settings tab. Once there, I need you to go into the select program list and look for the game. If you can't find the game within the list, hit the browse button, navigate to the game's installation directory and select the .exe file for it. Once you've got that done, you should implement the following settings in the list of settings that you can play around with. Set power management mode to max performance, turn off image sharpening, disable low latency, set max pre-rendered frames to 1, and texture filtering to performance. All of these together should make sure your GPU is running the best it can be for the game. For AMD users, there's a few more things that we need to be playing around with. So first off, turn off the Radeon anti-lag, Radeon chill, Radeon boost, image sharpening, anisotropic filtering, maximum tessellation level, frame rate, target control, etc. You just want to turn all of these off. Next, I want you to turn on surface format optimization. Select the graphics mode on GPU workload setting. Select performance mode under texture filtering quality and set tessellation and shader cache to optimized mode. So all of these GPU settings, whether you're on an NVIDIA card or an AMD card, should enable you to at least get a bit of a boost from a graphics performance and stability perspective. But if you're still going through a bit of trouble, there are, are a few other things that you can do, including using a program like Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, which helps maintain a good frame rate and graphics performance in games. Check out the link in the description. I've been using this for ages and it works wonders for me. Getting rid of junk files in your computer, which especially if you're on an SSD drive, can absolutely help with performance in game. And finally, running the program as administrator, which you can enable by going into the properties of your shortcut on your desktop. All of these tips together will hopefully enable you to enjoy a much smoother and stutter-free Rome Remastered. I've done a bunch of research online about these and tested them as well, and some work better than others for me, but it changes rig to rig, so my advice would be to try all of them and see which ones work for you. Next, we want to look at making the game look good. I personally find that Rome Remastered, again, as with other Total Wars, has a lot of the textures and assets blurred out which I'm not a fan of. There's also a bit too much color going on in Rome Remastered, so I want to dial this down a little bit as well. And generally, I think the game could look a lot better, which is why I recommend Reshade. Reshade is a graphics enhancement tool that lets you play around with literally every setting you can imagine, from sharpening to lighting to FX and bloom. So the first thing we need to do is install it. And to do that, you need to go on the website, which you can find in the description of the video, and scroll to the bottom of the home page until you see that download button and hit it. The program will download and it is completely safe, so don't worry about any antivirus messages. 
Once downloaded, you need to run the reshade setup program and select a game you want to use the application for. So go in there and select Rome Remastered. Then, because the game runs on DirectX 11, you want to select the second option there. This will take you to a screen with lots of unchecked boxes as seen now. You want to check all of those and hit OK. With that, Reshade will download all the files you've checked off, giving you all the tools available to play around with the in-game graphics. Next, we need to go in-game and play around with the Reshade settings. There will be a small tutorial on the top left corner of your screen. I want you to ignore that. It's pretty unnecessary. What I want you to see is this. Now you can have a go at this on your own or you can download my preset file in the description and add it to your Rome Remastered folder. This will bring the preset up here at the top with the following settings listed at the top as well. When you check them all off, you should get this. I spent a lot of time, guys, trying to figure out a good balance of color, contrast, sharpness that makes both the campaign look good and battles look good as well. It was a very fine balance. Not going to lie, it was a bit difficult to achieve, but I hope you agree with Reshade Enabled. The game looks a lot better and more modern compared to vanilla. Battles look great as well, with more pronounced shadows and lighting, and while from a distance grass looks kind of darker and less green in areas, the greenness actually comes out the closer you get to the ground, so a nice little bonus here as well. Overall, the game looks great and performs well, which is what you want. With settings like clarity and the sharpening tools, you can see a lot more of the terrain around the campaign map and the battles. HDR, curves, and level settings enhance the color and contrast to make the game look a bit nicer visually and add a bit more vibrancy to things like shield colors and the sky. It all just looks a bit better, a bit more like what I expected from the remaster, so a massive improvement in my opinion. One final setting you need to play around with to make sure your picture looks like this is your in-game brightness and gamma. So go ahead and set those to 85% and 100% respectively. And before I finish off, I also want to say we'll probably get some graphics mods, guys, in the future. So stay tuned for more that we can do to enhance the game as they come out. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope all these tips and recommendations help you and enhances your Rome Remastered experience. If you did like the video and find it helpful, please do drop a like and drop any thoughts or questions in the comment section below. I make five videos a week, mostly on Total War, so if you enjoyed it and want to see more, then definitely subscribe. Join Termination, something I'm playing around with. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.